Tom's house. Look up. This is a beautiful bathroom, Wayne. They don't let Scott Howard in here. You know why? You know why? Why? It's a cushion. They paint. <laughs> stink. They stink, Scott. Thank you. You did this before. I think I'll give you something to try. Make a point to that. Remember that? We did that bad promotion about kites. Do you remember when he did that? Isaiah Thomas did that bad promotion about kids flying kites and getting them caught in the hydro wires. <laughs> Don't you remember that? Look up! You know, when I was a kid, we were, like, we lived on a farm. I was like a little kid, like about four or five years old. Sorry. Um, we went into the open field, it's like a plowed field. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden there's this like rope going up to the sky, like right into the clouds. Like mega, like a, I don't know how many. Okay. I need to open it up. I'd be like mega, mega high. Like miles and miles and miles. Anyways, the, the battery's four, running out for some Four bottles. kids, in the <laughs> four kid, four of us, there was uh, three other kids. We all started like pulling it, right? It was a kite, it was like above the clouds. And like it was like a pin dot. It was like, oh my god, it looks like what is it? <laughs> like kept the folio of like you had to it was me. You had to be there. Really. What's your sister say? So does this she didn't live? really say anything. Really. Do you live at home? Yeah. But so claim your independence means get out of it. In that sense it's a good way, but in another sense <coughs> it's like he's saying, Come on, Scott, get out get out here, get your shit out of it. What's hmm. the date today? November third, nineteen ninety one. I'm Realizing I have to get my shit together. But, you know, I think I'm in a state of shock. Yeah, I made your shock. Actually, I have a big headache. I hope this like. surprised. Do you big hair? Oh. And that big ass wart on your head. You're Sandra Bernhard. You're Sandra. <laughs> oh. You're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. No, I'm not. <laughs> Do you have another affair with an art world person? What? Do you have another affair with an art world person? Push your time. <laughs> I still like her, you know? I don't, I don't know like why you sleep with her. I don't like anyone I sleep with. <laughs> That's good for me. <laughs> so we're waiting we're waiting for my makeup to get done. <laughs> I heard about that sex <laughs> pot. <laughs> Like the last time I've ever seen you, Spadon. I need a bigger makeup. Oh, so that's true. Really? Shit. Really? Yeah, tons of makeup. A fart is a chemical substance. It comes from a place called Bum. It penetrates through the trousers <laughs> and lands with a musical hum. To fart, to fart is no disgrace. It gives the body heat. It warms the blankets on cold and makes up the salt of fleas. <laughs> Um, Elaine, it's gonna be her birthday tonight. And it's her 41st birthday, and the 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 shocking thing for her that um, she's spending her 44th birthday in a gay bar because at, at midnight it's her birthday. <laughs>
like, have relaxed. <laughs> I always dreamed of doing a movie. So I offered to do this movie as a test. You know, I think if anyone were to ask me why on earth I did this show, from the energy, the costs, making props, costumes, not to mention the time it took for practices. The challenge was to make a movie about someone else's dream. One that reflected their dream and their determination to see it through. Teaching new moves, forgetting old ones, putting up with rag sessions with Marty. Just the energy. The amazing amount of energy it took to pull this all together. I just thought it was going to be like exactly like the real thing, but it, of course it's not going to be, but that's how I visualize it. But, yeah. Oh my god, everybody turns into a big fucking glazed ham when the camera comes on. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I love camera. Are you telling me I look like a butterball? Here we go. There we go. I wouldn't say no, that. butterballs are turkeys. Okay. They do hams too. Oh. But no, I was happy with the outcome even though it's not what I expected it to be. Oh. Funny, how do you, how does it feel? <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. Um, we date back to um, the first show. But I have high expectations of everything, so mm -hmm. I expected it to be exactly like everything that wasn't, but it was, it was different. I liked it. For what unknown reason did I do this for? I guess I could first answer by saying I believe in dreams and following through with them. It came true for Scott and his dancers and it has come true for me. I just thought, you know, it would be the perfect way to be seen mm -hmm. and be admired. So. I yeah. did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> yeah, what was the highlight of the show in, in, of all the songs that we did? I think it would be Vogue because it's so dramatic. And like Virgin. Yeah. It, it sets you apart from everything else because everything else is so intense and so... What? I'm not lying. You're not... You no, know, we don't think you are. I'm Do we think we're lying? No, I'm <laughs> not! <laughs> I'm serious! Thought-provoking. It's like, okay, okay. What's you're your, in what, what, a what bar was, and everyone's looking at you. Like, you know, it was just sort of like a um, fantasy kind of thing that took you away from it, like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the first show that we did in Kitchener, um, I thought was going to be better than it was. Um, I thought it was really good until we did the second one, and then when we did the second show, I realized how shitty the first show really was, and now I kind of can't believe we did it the way it was. And I think it was good in its own way, and I think it was a, a good evolutionary process to the second show. Because we were all going through our own thing, you know? yeah. Just and it, Everybody interp interprets it differently, like it might have meant something else to somebody in the audience. And mm -hmm. So, however, it relates to you. Yeah, one more question. Do I have one more question? Only one more? Um, he wants two questions. Would you do it again? Would you do it again? Yeah. Um, yeah. But I didn't, I, when you first asked me to do the first show, I didn't conceive it would ever really be done. I thought it was sort of just a whimsical. Mm. Fantasy had going inside yeah. your head. You know, I found myself at times questioning, how in the world is this ever going to work? Work it, work it. Oh. How will they believe in me when at times I question my own beliefs? I don't know. I, it was because I didn't want to do it in Hamilton, I think, yeah. and, and because the first time we did it in Kitchener, it gave me the one-time exposure to be on stage and mm. for the first time and not be in front of people that I cared if it looked stupid in front of because I'd never yeah. see them again if I didn't want. <laughs> 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 I remember during one practice, Marty, David, and myself were working on the number. We were getting nowhere. I was getting to the point where I was going to break, and boy did I. I remember the exact words that came out of my mouth. No one is going to benefit from this. Well, after making arrangements with Rob to have this as a Nate's fundraiser through hands, I kind of ate my words. The cause was the only reason why I did it. Did you? Yes, I think it's really important. Um, I would do it again if it wasn't just for a cause now, but I, I think that that's very important. Mm -hmm. and I think it touches everybody at one point or another. I don't think anyone can avoid it. Yeah. Um, it hasn't hit me personally in any way, shape, or form, but I still think it's really be important. touched by it. Though. Yeah, it's, it's inevitable yeah. to be touched. Yeah. I mean, like, it's, that's, that's what it's all coming to right now. But the cause it's sort of exemplified what the whole point of the show was. Mm -hmm. So. It was just a target, a focus, really. See, I would love to do something like that. I mean, no, isn't the question? No, the Wait. question. The question is, 
if we were doing the Madonna if show. Was, yeah. if we oh, if it was ours, show, if it was what would I change? What would you have changed or what um, would you have added? The costumes. Yeah. But that that's coming from my point of view because I can I know how to sew. Mm-hmm. So, so, you know, yeah. so I would I would have like, you know, but you no, know, they looked good. Mm-hmm. I would have done a few different control. songs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, done the same songs. Well, I saw all the work that was going into what was being done, and um, I just thought that the conceptions that you had in your head and the ideas that you had going were laid out to me, and what you were saying was really good, and because you materialized the first show, and I didn't think you were going to, I knew that if you said you were going to do this, we would work. So the ideas that you had um, were really good, and I had, I had no, you know, problems believing that the second one was going to be. Yeah. Like I would have done material for all. So that's so funny, like the way she does it in concert. Mm-hmm. It's so funny that, you know, it'd get everyone laughing and stuff. So it'd be more like theater. <laughs> <Quote. laughs> um, Express Yourself was really good because it, it was like really powerful and very forceful and, and it's very blunt and very abrasive and I kind of like that. I can't have anyone who knows me cannot understand why I like that. But um, I liked it. It was very <laughs> cut and dry. It was very obvious and, and it was very straightforward about what was going on. No, but you know what I mean. Marty, do you want to ask any of them? Like, what was it like questions. working with Marty? Bam. <laughs> 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 fucking utter bitch. <laughs> Volga liked for the same reason that Chris said he liked it. It was very light and very fantasy and and it sort of got, it gave you a chance to put yourself on sort of higher than everyone else for just a minute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and it's true. Did a great job. And exactly. And, you know, John said something about egotistical dancer, but I think that you sort of have to be. As soon as you guys you <laughs> You're not feeling me put my shoes on. And we had tricked him, and we ate. Oh my god. I want my manager. I'm cold. No, like we, no, we just, we went, the tape I went out to Max and got a bunch of food and stuff, and we ate. What did you do with the tape? You end up just good. Well, at least if you pay the role. I don't, yes. I don't think that it's egotistical in the sense that as people we are, but it's almost like you're going out there and I wasn't really me when I went on stage. You're playing a character just like anything else and those characters are very larger than life and very egotistical. Mm -hmm. And if you don't act that way, then you don't get the point across. The week following the performance really intensified. Everything, everything just came to a big head, like a big zit. From bleaching out my hair, sent my father rangy. Apparently he asked people to talk to me about trying to talk me out of bleaching my hair. And I think that's just what I wanted to do, is wanted yeah. people to know it wasn't a show, there was a point behind mm-hmm. the show. My father laid everything out on the table with me. Boy, that was scary. As if they didn't know. Dad told me that he didn't agree with my performance being held at a gay bar because of the background beliefs of the church that he goes to. It doesn't agree with homosexuality. Big deal. Dad told me that he doesn't want to know what goes on in my life. It's none of his business. Well, personally, I couldn't disagree with it. It was like open wound. It wasn't just the AIDS cause. It was, there was a, I mean, everything had a, a point to it, and I just hope mm-hmm. people got the point. Yeah. And they seemed to it, so. Yeah. Yeah. That was the only thing I could say, really, is that I don't believe God is prejudice. It's man's ego that allows for prejudice. And, um, I didn't see them as being very painful, but I saw them as being very raw. Mm. Like I say, it, it was it was very very on the edge, and everything my emotions were really high. It was either super depressing, mm-hmm. or or super. or super ecstatic and, and really happy and lighthearted. Maybe we should just go take a poll. It's one extreme to the next, yeah. which I thought was good because it, it brought the audience from here to there, to there to here, and and I think that alleviates the boredom for them. There's a disease far greater than AIDS out there right now, and that's ignorance.
father Sing story. Sing it, oh father. Tell the father story. My father, uh, when I, he first saw me bleach my hair, walked in and he says, I'm not impressed. So I turned around and I said, I didn't do it to impress you. Marty. And then he called me back and we sat down and he says, I want to have a talk with you. We found out about the show happening and that it was happening in a gay bar. And it really bothered him because he's from the United Church and they don't believe in... Oh, is he a Mormon or something? He's a is he a Mormon? I mean a Mormon? He, he's a... He's, Teresa thinks it's cultish. That's my cousin who did my wonderful hair this evening. Anyways... Is she a Mormon too? So we talked and he talked and about that I'm 24 years old and I have a right to do whatever I want. On the other hand, it's sort of like he's rejecting me, rejecting a part of me because he doesn't believe in what I do. But that's okay because... Do you address this? Do you Here you go, Madonna girl. Sorry, I guess. I so what was the outcome? Well, well the outcome was basically I have to claim my independence. So what's your sister say? So I'm looking for a roommate. Because it wasn't just, I mean, it was more your you than me in that show. But a lot of it was me as well. I mean, we collaborated yeah. on a lot of stuff, and, and from the, the the details you took care of, but the original overall conception and the idea was was a joint effort yeah. between the two of us. Because when you came to me and told me, we brainstormed for like months on what they're going to do. Where's the arm? Oh, okay. I want I want the cloak. What are you guys is ready? No, we're gonna put that first number together. The other one can I do the pointed cloak? I'm changing. This is my this is my way of Sorry. <laughs> Get her! I know, they were, were all laying Scott. on the chair when I arranged everything. Is it in the trunk? No, it's white. Yeah. Did you get the trunk? I'm sorry. All right. Oh, now I'm starting to get the I can't wait to do this feeling. Scott, what is your not that good for, um, like, for... Uh, one, there's a black robe, and there's that jacket that I just had on chains. Wait, I don't this. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, my God. Oh, back here. <laughs> Eskimos and Eskimos. On the other hand, I'm not in the mood for Eskimos and ice. Freezing back here! How are you? Thank you. I don't know, but this is my face. Don't touch your makeup. I'm going to make your makeup. Are you starting to get that I can't wait to do this feeling now? No, I'm starting to go back. Oh, really? I can't wait to get out there now. Freezing! Oh. Doesn't he look good? Doesn't he look great? Absolutely. Absolutely. This, this is what I should be doing. <laughs> I didn't know this was the dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> They're on the washroom, right? It's actually a boiler room. Well, I didn't know if I should come back here or not, but I figured, what the hell? What the heck? I'm gonna do as long as you don't say the show's <laughs> neat, she'll let you stay. <laughs> yeah, don't call my show neat. Freezing. Uh, Five minutes, Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> John and I have done most of the same dirt. Um, so I'm getting them on Monday. Great. And I'm going, John and I are going to come out to Brantford and Marty and we'll go to the left. And I'll show you. Not the hair. No? Oh, yeah. Don't worry too much. Oops, sorry. I like this hair better than the last uh -huh. show. Uh-huh. Doesn't it look Much good? Better. There's the last one. Yeah, Monica. I saw but the sure last show. I like this one better. <laughs> Take the cord up from under. Take the cord up from under. No, that's no, I wanted it. Keep it in place. Victoria did an amazing job. She hates it. She says it's terrible. Oh, it looks great. You know that's good when she hates okay. it. Okay. 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 You're not just saying that makes me feel better. Oh, my babies are Do you have the other fragile. one? Do you have any of the other ones? Yeah. Where's everyone else? They're out there. Don't worry. They're getting claustrophobic. Use that one. I like that one better. Mm. Oh. We're ready in about two minutes. Five. Two. Five minutes. Five. Is that what she's cheesing the baby roll? No. 
You're dumb. You ready? <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for allowing us to be together tonight. And you're all here now. And yeah. Um Let's have a good show. <laughs> let's, Don't let them take me. Let's all rise above our shit in our lives and uh, go out there and show them what a real show is. Kick ass! So I think that I had a, enough, as much input as I want to, to put into it because I tend to be more erratic than you. And I think you brought a very like, a stability to the show that I was unable to bring. I want to thank Scott for allowing me to film his dream and thanks to all the people who made our dreams possible. Especially God. Oh yeah. And Madonna also. I think of it as a shock. Yeah, this is more like that part. <laughs> no, that's all. I'm an Italian American and I'm proud of it. Proud of being an American because it is the country I grew up in. The country that gave me the opportunities to be who I am today. And a country that believes in freedom of speech and artistic expression. of my music and like theater it asks questions provokes thoughts and takes you on an emotional journey portraying good and bad light and dark joy and sorrow redemption and salvation I do not endorse a way of life but describe one and the audience is left to make its own decisions and judgments what I consider freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and freedom of thought. Every night, before I go on stage, I say a prayer. Not only that my show will go well, but that the audience will watch with an open heart and an open mind and see it as a celebration of love life and humanity.
You having a good time? Come on, I want to hear you. Are you having a good time? Where's your wig? Vicky's at home. She has a sore throat. <laughs> I'm just fine, though. I'm fine. Very nervous that I'm standing out here with like this. Cause you've never seen me like this, I don't think. Some of you, anyway. Well, thank you so much for coming out. Look at this. This is fantastic. I'm so pleased that all of you could come down here. This is a very, very important night. It's a PWA fundraiser. Most of all, this should not go unnoticed. These people have done a lot of work. You guys had already established you were going to go down and down. Yeah. And you're going to do something different every time yeah. you do it. A lot of work. They have been rehearsing every day. The money that has gone into it, that, that's nothing. It's the work, the work that has gone in to entertain you, okay? What about I don't know if that's important to you or not, but every, everyone's going down with a different really work. important to us. It's really important to us. I think it's so important that we have to find out what the problem is. What's the problem, Marty? Everybody's going down on a different work. Okay. okay. When you're together, keep... When? Paul, my name. Like a little prayer. Like, Okay. Plug. Plug. So you have that same look every time you go over yourself. Go over yourself. Like a little prayer. Down on my knees. I want to take you. Take you there. So always choose the so be be It was just like the video. But that was the thing. I, I mean, was I just like the video though. I warned Scott that what he was doing was going to be really hard and that it was going to be really grueling and I think even he, the first time I said it and it wasn't so bad and Scott went, see, it wasn't easier than we thought. But then the second time we did it, I said to him it was going to be really hard and he didn't believe me and I think when it came down to doing it, he kind of said, yeah, you're right, it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And it, it was it more became. time consuming and more money consuming yeah. and, and but more energy consuming than anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, where's Vicky when you need her? Okay. Um, one thing I do want to ask, though, is that we need more room in the front. They can't, they can't move. They, they've been rehearsing all week with a full stage. And I guess, you know, it, it, they didn't take into account that everyone would be here, that all be like standing there with smiles on their faces and staring. You know, everybody's doing a different word every time I do me. it. I'm, 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 Because it was a boring show, I think it was. It was very one-dimensional. Tim has something to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say anything. What did you say, Tim? I said it's because we were in it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's put the camera back where it belongs. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. I, I knew you were coming because the ego knocked at the door <laughs> first. <laughs> 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 kind of drowns me. <laughs> I want to take you when you call my name. Like a little prayer. Like a little prayer. Down, 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 down on my knees. Down on my knees. I want to take you there. Because some people are going down on prayer and others are going down on down. So down, down, down. Down, down. Take you. Take you. Take. Take you there. 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 In the midnight hour, I can, I can feel, feel your power oh. just like a prayer. You know, I'll take you there. there. Sit around. Okay. And then the last one before that, yeah. we don't start walking, so we just gotta get the spot for the. Uh, right? Right. The uh oh. We're all going across. Okay, so it's uh oh. And then uh oh. Into the prayer. And then uh oh. Oh. So it was the first uh oh. Oh, 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 back down again, oh, 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 there's two oh's, down, oh, yeah, like that, and when the choir starts building up, and there's no more oh's, you just keep going like this, blah, 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 can we just cover that, Marnie, which one?
Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, we're going with the. Yeah. After you do your thing, yeah. and then yeah. you move back. Okay. I know the room is restricting. See my real color? <laughs> my true color has shown through. It's hard to tell the I'm really blind. Not.
to work on that all afternoon to do a show tonight. The, the audience will go crazy after that, and then when the holiday comes, will they? They go, yeah, 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 yeah. it's going to be Because that's what happened at our other show. Yeah, you know, Holiday. Yeah. That was not right, as bad as this, though. <laughs> holiday was bad, right? The ad lib is better than this one, though. At least all right. Crazy. Let it be known, let the record show that we're dropping Holiday. You were out for it. See, I always get what I want. Don't push it. <laughs> 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 get to it so I'm going to leave it up to you, you know. So let's come back to pick us up so that we can go film your, your makeup. But, um... Uh, we are also going to... Yeah, you're going to be back. I'm going to use my partner as a transit center. <gasps> and John can be there to film it all. Well, we were thinking, Does Scott love me more than I love him? No way, it's not possible! I haven't even done that, uh... Oh, Father, yeah. <laughs> that's off the floor. <laughs> okay. How long will you be in Bray? How long will you be in Bray? It's going to only take half hour. It takes, what, half hour to get there and half hour. Yeah, it's about 20 minutes. Left. Are we still so, stay here? Yeah, yeah. I don't have any. What about Obama? Yeah. Because Why don't you go father by yourself? That's how many numbers you. No, no, no. <laughs> That's twice. Holy, you're crazy for it. You know, you know, you're really pushing me. You're, you're pushing me. Like, no, because we're, again, we're. If you're going to be my partner, I have to be there. So all I'm going to be back. He's coming back here. I'm coming back here. God. Should I meet you here at the bar? Um, so he's I don't know how to do like the bird tone because he's not there. Well, where is the bird anyway? Is that. Sean's head. Sean's head. Well, why isn't he here? Because he's back. Is he going to be in the show? I have a thing. What? Is he going to be in the show? <laughs> I'm not learning well, his number. I'm too. leaving. All right, my fragile babies. No I'm leaving. Holiday is terminated. You and Simon can. We'll have a couple drinks. <laughs> you know, might as well start. Are you, are you coming back? Work out some moves. Can be back in about an hour. So are we so doing a father? Or we'll be yeah. Okay, it's so when really do I do it? Easy. When do I show me what to do? When I get back. So we should. We'll work it out. You need now. What maybe numbers now? Is come back at six o'clock. What? What? Well, no, when you guys come back, you have to run through the numbers as they're going to be tonight. Yeah. And we have to set the stage. Yeah. We have we to set nail the stuff together and all that. Nail the stuff. So we'll be in my apartment at five o'clock. Five o'clock. He's not going to be in your apartment until five thirty. Don't worry about it. Now I can nail those things together in two minutes. Why now? I'm just saying, so we remember to bring this stuff. It's here. Oh, all right. Who else? Yeah, we have five minutes. Let's get to remember who was ready to talk about. All right. Truth or dare, Jeff. Truth or dare. I hate her. Tim. Truth or dare. Where's Paula Abdul? Bite your tongue. Janet Jackson in the Well, there's Simon. Hi, Simon. Hi. How do we all feel about a holiday being cut? Yay! <laughs> Damn, we missed again. Coming after me now. Call me, but I think the show was too hot. Everything was getting to me, and I thought, oh, I'm just. I think I'm getting ready for the depression of what I'm going to feel when the tour's over with. I'm not halfway to Europe, I'm not going to burst. I'll trust you. No, no. <laughs> Thank you.
so distracting. It was so distracting and so so depressing for me. I found a way to keep the bolo hat on. What? I found a way to keep the bolo hat on. Get John Draper, get, get a new asshole. He's like, yeah. Don't tell me you didn't know it. Don't tell me you didn't know it. So I'm gonna wear the corset for like, for, for like a virgin, the one that they use for expression. Are you sure like the one that is a Does it fit badly or does it just? It looks bad. What do you call it? Um, the comb. Moves. The comb. Embroidered? It's not embroidered. It's um, quilted. Quilted padded sides. One's higher than the other, and it looks really returned. Like I tried to piece this stuff together. You know, and like, it just, just, I thought, well, this is going to be really easy. Well, the material is really hard. Find yourself a new dancer. No, I mean, like, if we ever have to... <gasps> oh, it's stinging me. Oh. God. Do you want me to wear the hat? It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot easier. Come here, Pip. Bleeding. Is it? Is it like all gone or no? It's all gone. Did I shave everything? I can't see. There. Is that better? Yeah, thanks. It's convincing. A little bit. No, I wish you wouldn't film me. Really. I, I can't concentrate. Look! Look! Actually, I hate new videos, but now that I'm in, like, I sort of have a ponytail, I feel like I, I, I have a, I have a leeway to, life. I have a, no, I have a leeway, like, it's like, oh yeah, that was just me trying to be Madonna. Because when I look at myself in the video, it's like, sometimes I look like such a faggot. Really? No, that's what I hate. I you hate it. It's like, I look at myself and I listen to my voice and I watch myself and my actions and just the way I act. It's like, really, you know, to think that my parents didn't know. Well, like you know, I would I'd be pretty stupid. I walked into Here's the Ian. Here's Ian. I walked into the house. Oh, oh sure. Oh okay. my God, Frankenstein. <laughs> Was that a compliment? Yeah. <laughs> He's blushing. Point of me. <laughs> okay, go on with your story. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Do you believe in like aftershave burn? <laughs> Cause I got something to show ya. <laughs> it goes back like And my father goes, Ugh. I'm not impressed, Scott. And I turned around and said, I didn't do it to impress you, Dad. And he goes, Alright, come here, I wanna have a talk. We gotta sit down right now. Not so exaggerated, of course, I like over over dramatizing the whole event. Not but you. No, not me. And so he sat down. And he knows I'm doing this show. And he doesn't agree with it. Um, sorry. Oop, I didn't. I mean, he's he's being misled by Mr. Reverend John Tweedy. <laughs> Where's Ian? We should put hurry up and shave and get on the bed. <laughs> And I'll film that. Well, you're in the show. I'm not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Victoria can do it. <gasps> oh, yeah, but she's a tramp, a slut, and a harlot. <gasps> I hope she never sees it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Victoria. Like, I'm like on my knees. As usual. <laughs> well, what's the sense of doing it if it's not on film? I mean, what's the sense of existing? We did it. We did it differently. I'm like, big time breakout. I like this song. Into your nose. Into your mouth. Close your heartbeat. My show is not a conventional rock show, but a theatrical presentation of my music. And, and like theater, it asks questions, provokes thoughts, and takes you on an emotional journey, portraying good and bad, light and dark, redemption and salvation. It's a 15 minute break. He minute. wants a 15 minute break. Express yourself, live to tell, 15 minute break. Okay. And that's it. It's a, hopefully it'll look okay. I'm getting out the window.
We don't have much time left. I may get through a number and I'm leaving. All I'm going to tolerate. What? You're going to Victoria. Do you listen to your number? Send it to Victoria. Oh, I'm not out yet. Oh. Is that thing? Okay, now, put your head 
down, keep your eyes open. Open. Press closer. Now open slowly. Don't very so close. I don't want your eye to go up too high and put it into your socket and give a nice little black line. Okay, a little bit more. Okay. Uh, no, no, don't waste it too high. Oh, we did it too! Oh, there's a nice black line on his eye right now. Then it's fine, then I, then, then, then it's fine. I thought it was fine. No, I'll use, um, I'll show you. Sorry. Okay. It's, it's not easy when someone else is doing your makeup. If you're not used to wearing it and people touching your eyes, but it's an automatic reaction. I know. But because you're just, you, the way you're stabbing, like when you're doing the mascara and everything, it, it's like it's um, the I end result is almost like. If you can you put like, mascara on yourself? Yeah. <laughs> and what's the point? <laughs> I have to do it. Yeah, I'm also going to bring it all together. Oh, let's see it. See what you've done? See what you've done? <laughs> you know, for some reason, I just know this show's going to be amazing. Because I saw a psychic. She said the show's going to be good. She said the show's going to be very well. The numerologist? Yeah. She was talking about Rick War last year. Like I actually what she did was she was going through the, the whole the whole future and I said, Can you go back? You know what you're gonna have to do? What? Do you know how to rub your lips together to apply it? I don't think I'm gonna be able to shape them. Okay. Not too much, but just push lips together. Spread them. Do you mind if one of your brushes gets cut or yes? It's it's no good. You can try you can it. Go inside. Try it. Yeah. Try it. cheek on this boy. Don't ask her to poke. <laughs> yeah, please don't ask her to strike a pose. All you're going to have to do for touch-ups on your lips, I'm not using a pencil. You're going to have to do it yourself and just, and just have them together, just so you don't feel a dryness anymore. Are you bringing all the, can you bring like the eyebrow pencil and powder and lipstick? Yeah, this week, then I'll do it between show. Three That's numbers. great. Because I'm only in four numbers. Steve, like, it looks great. It does look really good, Steve, you have so. It looks like amazing. Well, no, I'm sorry, I have to say I have to disagree. Really? Yeah. Because you're perfectionist, right? Better, yeah. yeah. I don't mind more so good. See, I think this looks better than the other one. Yeah, it does. I think your other one looked more normal, like more natural, but this one looks more like Madonna. Because makeup isn't normal looking, it's very severe. Because it's theatrical, it's makeup really. Uh, like, now, not. I can bring some people back, I have to go to bed. Oh, you look real neat. Neat? No one says I look neat, it has to go. Looks good. Okay? I love it. Just 
like a, try to avoid as much as you can until you get there. Be smiling because you've got a laugh line. Okay. Don't get me. Okay. You have to be dressed. Are you doing that there or are you there? It's all there. Put your coat on. Put your shirt on. I can do another number, you know. I do another number on my own. Well, that's what I said. Everyone said no. Oh, it looks stupid. On my own? Yeah. Oh. It's the whole point. like tons of people on my own. until she gets caught up in it. that I adore, that I love, and that I would all separately at one time or another like to smack the shit out of. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Oh.
The fashion. The love. The The three of us together and no one was around us. Like every time you'd look at me, it was like, it was like, oh man, I wish you hadn't got me into your tent. We have matching stockings. Oh my god. There's always going to be queens on the road. Yours are nicer though. You don't even run in yours, honey. Where's Karen? We have a run. Are we like on camera now? All right, like, okay, okay. Do you want to be abducted by Hollywood? No. Not admit his ponytail was falling off. <laughs> I when I came out the back, it's head. like, oh, your ponytail's like really hanging out there, like looking really good. And <laughs> like, I'm like, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Because she didn't get me licking her chin like a virgin, I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> oh, oh, stop it. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. No, but that was like, my highlight of the really? evening when I looked at you and yeah, like the it was like, and there was like our eyes connected and we said we And I like I like with Simon when we were walking around each other and oh father it's like we're like we hate I each was other. Like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I can't like, remember. And do you, we you ever really want ever to wanna see you. Craig again? <laughs> no! no! Fucking wimp! Do you think he lost out on anything? Yeah! yeah! So like tell it like this girl. Alright. So like, um, like, like, tell me, like, I mean, like, do you really think we should do another show? Yes. In Toronto, in Toronto, yeah. we make big bucks. Madonna, said, can't can't Madonna, Madonna can't afford real pearls. Madonna can't afford real pearls. I get so I rich, I get anything I want. Worst part of my show. <laughs> the thing that really got me was um, express yourself. Oh my God! Oh. There's the two okay, kids, okay, the 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 kids from Pizza Pizza. They almost got beaten up by a we straight man. Yeah, <laughs> we always do. We love it. There's always gonna be queens. <laughs> okay, okay. What was your worst part of the show? Your fingers um, straight. Express yourself. <laughs> express yourself when I speak. Why? Yeah, I I got got you know, you know what was my favorite? Oh. My favorite was when I was mean. And you got up there and you did your whole spiel. I was like, oh my god, it's so intense. Yeah. yeah. And my no. worst part was it having to go up with your teacher when I sat there. Why? Because it, it worked. But for like a virgin, it worked because we were supposed oh, to. But like a virgin, but I was like, oh my god, my body. Ah. No, Anyways, but when I had a great time. Thank you very much, Scott. Mm -hmm. Madonna, sorry, girl. Mm -hmm. No, it's great. 
Can we have our individual scene? I have okay. to go like deal with my child now. You should go deal with your child. Okay, who's first? Do it again. Simon's first. Okay, Simon's first. first. Simon, Simon, so tell me, like, what was your most favorite point? Finally getting it over with. <laughs> like, just y yesterday, we were, like, debating on having him in Vogue and everything because we got paranoid because we found out Craig wasn't in it. And then it was like, giving me one day to like, prepare for like, this we show. We just showed him everything. It's like, um, uh God. Send me home. <laughs> Somebody came at you. look like fucking drag queen. Really? They say I look like a drag queen. You guys look really like in there's there's the back room stuff. It looked like you guys look really hot. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. It was it was you and Chris um were standing there and I'm I don't know what I'm doing. We're doing the prayer. Or something. She on her rollo like she's big shit. And I'm sitting with my best thing going. I know. I like Chris. He says, "Does she? What, was that what she really ate?" <laughs> and, he's like, and he's like, "Mm." <laughs> the expression on your face is like priceless. It's like it's like you're going through truth or. Truth or scare, like you know, we're trying to trying to keep with the script, you know. Okay, oh, what's know. next? What's next? What did it say? I want to know why you didn't make a speech about PWA. I think you should have said thank you well, for coming out. Is PWA benefit? La la la. That was said a million <laughs> times, though. Yeah, yeah but it would have been so okay. intense if they heard it from you because it was your show. You know what I mean? Intense. Yeah, we're good. Aside from the friends I've invited, but I don't know. That's about it. Mm, get her. So. <laughs> Hot. We have to do our individual scene. Can I say something? I think I'm in a state of shock. <laughs> that was, it was like yesterday at rehearsal. I, I couldn't do the moves and I couldn't take the people and it was too hot. <sighs> I just thought, oh, I'm I getting ready for the depression of what I'm going to feel when I have to look at Martin Kelly in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> Especially like, a boat. Nine out of ten dancers fucked Martin Kelly. During it was disgusting. <laughs> Who didn't? <laughs> oh, you didn't. <laughs> I was Martin Kelly for three like months. <gasps> Thank God I only had one night with That's him. Thank God I only had one night with him. Dave, Jeff, Chris, Tim, everyone did Martin Kelly. No, I did it. Except for me. You should, he's really good in bed. He is. But oh. that's the sad part. What did he do? Yeah. What did he do? I want details, girl. Right? What did he's he really do? good in bed. He gets yeah. the details. That's the only thing. He does, <laughs> but he was a bottom yeah. of me a lot. Yeah. 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 Was he? Yeah. But what was I going to say? I, I was going to say something. Me. Oh, I fucked up Kelly. Oh! I think, yeah. Why well, be this way? So I just thought, you know, the, the better. Ah! No one put as much effort into the show as Scott. I agree. I agree. You pulled uh, everyone together and you, you were just. And you I, put I up was, with me and my moods. Hey, oh, no. fuck, I'll put up with you and your moods. <laughs> Get out of my fucking bed. Get her. No, no, no. But Get I, her, girl. But I, as, as Steve would say, Get her, girl. Get her, girl. <laughs> but I want to say. I that love it when she says that. No, you know. Get her, girl. You know a point <laughs> that really meant a lot to me? <laughs> just before Vogue, I was like freaking out. And you grabbed me and you said, Take a deep breath. Yeah. Just but, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm. Okay, okay. No one put as much effort into it as Scott. Yeah. And you pulled well, us all together. And uh, you had the courage. You were beautiful. You had the courage to pull us all together. We love you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cry now. Get her. She's a dirty DQ now. <laughs> I am she not. Is. You are. You're dirty. Did no way, this is the last one, honey. The Jesus last one that we have London to conquer. No, no, it's fuck. Toronto! <laughs> All I know is if I hear one more time that I have nice underwear, <gasps> I'm gonna give it up. It's like, here, take it, it's yours. Yeah, I shaved no. it off. That's my too. little patch. Let's do individual. Chris oh, is getting too excited. I wanna do individual, individual chicken. I can feel someone's erection who's as- I think not. <laughs> okay, it's 10 after two. It's getting late. We have to go. I have 8 o'clock class, I have a class in 6 hours. Oh! We have to. So, did we okay, do okay, that? We, we have one it. more thing to do. I want to do an individual with Scott. Oh, oh please. Chris, <laughs> your moment in the spotlight has. It has passed. nothing to do with the spotlight. We have to recreate something that was in the movie. Oh, God. Oh, I hate Chris you, you bastards. Get out! <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> okay, we're done. How'd she do it? Why don't you end it taking off your boost, Jay? Weird, it's like I'm being videoed talking about the video that we just videoed, you know? Like, you know? It's you know so. What I mean? It's cathartic. <laughs> it's cathartic. <laughs> I'll just stand still. How about I can zoom it. <laughs> Let's do the house of pancakes. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, we have to. I'll get on top of the bed and like dance. Did you know how Okay, when like, you know, when I push this button, the camera's gonna go automatically off, okay? 